Major Formula One news and Red Bull's team principal Christian Horner has spoken publicly for the first time to deny allegations of inappropriate behaviour made against him. Horner spoke to our reporter Craig Slater at the launch of the team's new car for the 2024 season earlier. Craig joins us now. Uh, Craig, it's been quite a few weeks for Horner, for F1 in general. We're not, not even at the start of the season yet. Were you surprised that he was even at this launch and that he then spoke today? You would have got good odds early last week that Christian Horner would not have had anything to do with this launch today because senior figures within Formula One were briefing me that they expected his resignation within a matter of days. He is being investigated at the moment for allegations of inappropriate behaviour. We're talking about alleged controlling and coercive behaviour with a female member of staff. He was interviewed about the matter last Friday. We don't get, of course, to delve into the detail of, of what he has been accused of because that's under investigation at the moment. But we did speak about why he's continued in his role, why he maintains his innocence in all of this, and also what is, to some people, significant background to this. That is an alleged power struggle going on at Red Bull between Horner and the board of the company based in Austria, and also a perceived rift between Christian Horner and the Verstappens. That's Max Verstappen, the world champion, and Josh. But this is what Horner had to say to me about all those matters today. There are unusual circumstances this year. There is this investigation, which we all know about. Um, are you all right on a personal level? You're carrying on as, as team principal and chief executive. Did you give any thought to, to maybe stepping aside from those duties temporarily while all this is sorted out? Yeah, no, it's, 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 it's business as usual. Um, there obviously is a, a process. Uh, obviously, I fully deny um, what, you know, any accusations that have been made against me. But uh, of course, I'll work, work with that process, which I hope is concluded in the near future. Yeah. Is it regrettable that it's come into the, the public domain and inevitably put a, a big spotlight on the team? Of course, that's, that's always unfortunate. Um, but uh, and the team is strong, it's, it's together. And, uh, and yeah, you know, today is an important day as we uh, lay a marker down for the season ahead. I know there's nothing we can talk specifically about what's, what's under investigation, but people are reading that there's, there's, there's friction between yourself and the office in Salzburg, some kind of power struggle going on there. Can, can you clear that up? Is, is any of that true? No, look, we're one, we're one team, we're one group. The support from the shareholders has been, been phenomenal, and without that support, we wouldn't, you know, we wouldn't be here. So, uh, so no, that's, uh, that, that's not correct. And they're reading, well, it's the Verstappens people are mentioning as well. Joss and, and Max, no friction there, no kind of falling out? No, not at all. No, I was with Joss and, uh, and Max at Silverstone a couple of days ago. And, you know, Max is very focused on, on, you know, on his job. He's, he's been you know, very supportive and, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward you know, to the season ahead with him. And that goes for Helmut Marko too. I mean, I, you know, they, you look like a united unit, but inevitably when there's something like this, people speculate. No, I mean, there's always going to be speculation, but we're together as one team. That's the way we've always been, and that's the way we continue to be. Yeah. Last one. Any idea when this might come to a resolution? Have you, have you had any guidance in that regard? Well, obviously, there's a process that, that has to be respected, and uh, you know, hopefully it will be in the uh, not-too-distant future. So, Christian Horn in there denying the allegations against him. That's very much the headline, Craig, but... Behind the headlines, you, you, you were there, you spent some time with him. What was his demeanour like? How does he seem like he's handling all this? He looked exhausted today, uh, without question. And remember, this is someone who's normally very quick-witted, very on the, the front foot in any kind of verbal exchanges. You can tell just how subdued he sounded there. I think partly that is deliberate. He knows this is a, a serious matter, that, that what we're talking about here. And, of course, I think we have to remember that we're only hearing chiefly his side of the story. There, there is a, another party in all of this, his accuser. His sole accuser, it has to be said, a female member of Red Bull staff, but for obvious reasons, we're not hearing her, her side of the story, as it were. It's clearly been a strain at home as well. People will know that he, he's married to the, the former Spice Girl, Jerry Halliwell, as was Jerry Horner now. He talked about her off-camera to me, about what a great support she has been in all of this. But I, 
he, he is determined to see this through. It impressed a lot of people that he was there today, went through the entirety of the launch. He has been carrying on his job as normal. I did ask him, why not take the time off to focus on the investigation rather than continue with what is a, a hugely demanding job? He's been at the helm of this team for 20 years. I don't know whether he feels stepping away would be kind, some kind of admission of guilt or not, but he is determined to press ahead. And he also said to me off camera, if I was not convinced of my innocence in all of this, I wouldn't be here today. OK, interesting. You, you questioned him on a couple of different rifts within Ref, Red Bull at the moment. So he was adamant that the team are together, heading into the opening uh, round uh, of, uh, of racing later this month. Do you think that they are? So if you read the background on some of this, you'll read a lot about uh, Christian Horner not being pleased to be under the control of, of the, the Red Bull Sporting mm. Empire's board, which is based in Salzburg, headed up essentially by Oliver Minchlaff, who's the former chief executive of, of RB Leipzig, the, the football team. Now, there are people that believe that the way these events have unfolded are perhaps something to do with that possibly as well to do with a perceived rift between Horner and the Verstappens. And, and has that, if it has come about, anything to do with problems between Christian Horner and Helmut Marko, who famously runs the Red Bull Driver programme and has a kind of almost overlapping role, it seems, with Christian Horner within that Red Bull racing team. Uh, it's sometimes not quite clear who is steering the ship. I mean, Christian Horner is on an operational sense. Sometimes it seems Helmut Marko is on a strategic sense. Now, the Verstappens are extremely close to Helmut Marko. You see Jos Verstappen leaving the circuit almost every day with Dr. Helmut Marko. There have been reports that they had taken against Christian Horner because of a, a, a perceived idea that maybe Horner didn't want Marco such a, a prominent part of the Red Bull picture. Red Bull is a complicated company. The actual majority shareholders, and Christian Horner talks in, in that interview about the support of the shareholders, and, and, he, and he said it rather more emphatically as well that, that he said that he had uh, he'd been overwhelmed with the support of. of people within the business, of our partners and, and within the industry that have been overwhelming. There are Thai majority shareholders here. Now, they, as I understand it, are keen to, to keep Christian Horner in his position. And I've been told that it was they who sourced the independent barrister to undertake this, this investigation. But now that it, we're at the stage of, of an independent investigation, these power politics behind the scenes will not have a bearing on, on what happens with regard to, to Horner's position. It will be the findings and, 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 and how the case is judged ultimately, which will, will decide what happens with his future. In terms of Max Verstappen today, you heard Horner saying, we, we get on fine. I was stopped from asking Max by his own management about his relationship with Horner and whether this episode was any kind of distraction with the team. I don't know why they did that. It wasn't really necessary. Later on, they seem to have calmed down uh, their, 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 their position on that. And Max did say his relationship with Horner was very good. We have seen each other quite a few times. I've been on the simulator. He was also there when we were filming. We have achieved a lot of things together, so that doesn't change suddenly. So I think some of these, if there are problems and frictions within the Red Bull teams, they are solvable over time. Um, but as I say, we have to separate all of that from the actual case itself. And, and, and how that unfolds and the outcome of that will be decisive in terms of whether Horner continues as team principal here. Yeah, and I just want to focus on that on that case because we know it's ongoing. We know that Horner's already had that first interview. But what does a timeline look like in terms of a conclusion to this? Well, he didn't know. We asked him that question directly then. All the guidance I've had is that this could be a, a pretty long process, taking weeks and weeks, taking us in, into, into the Formula One season. We're talking about, if you speak to people that are sometimes involved with, with these kind of workplace disputes, if we can look at it from that perspective, it often means a 100 or 200 page report. A, a lot of detail goes into all of this. That will then have to be sent for consideration to that 
that Red Bull board in, in Salzburg and then a decision taken on, 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 on the action that, that might come from there. I have been guided away from any notion that a settlement would, be, would arise um, before the outcome of the investigation itself. But Christian Horner repeatedly said today he was looking forward to the season. He expects to remain in charge of the team. He's confident he will be cleared of, of these accusations. It was, a, well, it was a, an unusual moment in the launch today, which was marking 20 seasons of Red Bull Racing. And Christian Horner has been the, the team principal for all of those. He was asked the question and it raised a few eyebrows. Chris, the, the, the host said to him, Christian, what does the next 20 years look like? And a few people looked around as though to think, well, you wonder how much longer he will be there. But uh, maybe the longer this goes on, certainly in terms of if there are relationships to mend at Red Bull, maybe that offers more opportunity for those, those relationships to be mended. But as I say, we, we have to keep coming back to, to the specific case itself and this investigation and what that finds will ultimately be decisive.